crafty friends Irene here with Artemis made and thank you so much for joining me today welcome back to my channel if you've been here before and welcome to any new people who happen to pop by very glad to have you here so today I'm going to show you my card for craft roulette episode 192 the parameters for this one were fun but a little challenging for me so today is, is a little bit of a different video I'm not showing you step by step how I put the card together but I am going to walk you through the parameters and show you how I felt that I met the parameters and what I did a little bit different I also came up with something that I was very excited about and I want to share it with you and maybe you can find a use for it in in your crafting as well. So I'll get to that in a moment. But first, I just wanted to share a reminder that this Saturday, uh, I will be a guest on Stamp Wars on the Nancy Stamps YouTube channel. Again, Saturday, it'll be 6 p.m. Central Time, 7 p.m. Eastern. I'm really excited. I'm nervous because I've never done live crafting like this, but I'm so excited. And I really hope you have a moment to come join me and cheer me on and help me, you know, calm some of those nerves I've got going on. So, all right, back to this. So now I've got the really awesome craft roulette stamp and die set if you haven't watched craft roulette please tune in on fridays at about 6 10 p.m central time it is so much fun and will really get that crafty mojo flowing so you can see here there's a bunch of different elements from craft roulette the more you watch the show and get to know the community and the uh and the culture you'll understand a whole lot more of these they're all really fun and recently they added a die set, which I really, really like. And when I first saw this die set, in addition to being excited to use it with the stamps, I started thinking about all the different ways I could paper piece with this. So I am really happy that I actually got a chance to paper piece this week. So I am gonna kind of walk you through what I did here. So episode 192, the parameters were a project was a thank you card. The colors were roadside market. The element was yard or yards and random was confetti. So my project here, thank you card, says thanks so much, you're really great. Get it? Wheelie great. <laughs> I can never pass up a pun. I just can't. Especially when, you know, tis the most ponderful time of the year. <laughs> Please, if you haven't left yet, I, I really appreciate you because I know it can be bad sometimes. My, my puns are ridiculous. Okay, so <laughs> colors are roadside market. So I went with the blue sky and a little bit of a yellow corn because we you know in indiana here we have a lot of corn um, and you usually find those on roadside markets and then the white is for the corn silk that's inside the corn and then i've got some little black for you know black beans or maybe some ants on the ground things like that so i kept it a very clean and simple color palette but i think it really worked well then the element is yard or yards well i like to build my snowmen in my yard so that's why I went with a snowman and I think he's just, you know, happily sitting in someone's yard. And random is confetti. Well, in the chatterbox during the show, I think we all collectively agreed that snow could be considered sky confetti. So I made my snow, if you can see it here, I did a couple different versions. I have this little bit of snow pattern that I made with this really great product from uh, Amsterdam. It is titanium white acrylic ink. I really, really like this because it is thin enough that it gives a really nice spatter. Uh, but it's not, it doesn't get gloopy or anything like that. Uh, I learned about it from Kathy Zilski and pretty much anything she says is golden to me. So I, I trust her implicitly. So this, I gave it a shot and I'm really glad I did. Excellent for white spatter. So my second snowflake that I'm very excited about, this is where I got a little bit crafty because, you know, that's the name of the game, right? So these little snowflakes here, I'm sure you can recognize are in the wheel pattern from Craft Roulette. Now there is a stamp right here that has that little wheel pattern it's about the same size however i didn't want the outside wheel i just wanted to give it the essence of a snowflake without looking so so much like a wheel i wanted it to be just a little bit different so i was trying to get creative here and see what i could do so i took the back here and i actually took this little smallest of the wheel patterns and i cut it out of a piece of cardstock about yeah maybe two two inches by two inches and then I, what I did after I cut it out, popped out all the little pieces on the inside, all the little triangles, then I pieced it back into the, cu the cutout and I taped it in place. So I'll show you right here what I did. So there's my card. This is my little creation. So I cut this out. You can see from the back here that it's, it's actually two pieces. So I cut this little piece out, popped out all the triangles, put it back into the hole that was left behind and then taped it in place. And then from there, all I did was put it down and I used this little pouncer, little paper pouncer here from uh, Simon Says Stamp. And I used 
my favorite white ink. It's Unicorn uh, Pigment Ink from Hero Arts. And then I just picked where I wanted some snowflakes and I pounced, 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 etc. And then I used some Judikins Sparkle Embossing Powder and I embossed these little areas. So now I have these tiny little, little snowflakes everywhere and I have my own version of little craft roulette pretty stenciled snowflakes. So this is how I made my own homemade stencil and I was very proud of myself. So I hope this little tip helps you out. Maybe you can find something else that's, you know, another use for that that could be really fun. So make sure you get crafty with your stamps and dies. There's always really fun ways to do different things. So in making this card, I did have a lot of extra pieces and I was really glad about that because all these wheels are so much fun. And I, I use these to cut out all my different little paper piecing. Uh, pieces here and I have so many little extra wedges and all these wheels and I think these are going to make a really nice extra card. I think I'm going to turn these into a background and see what I can do with that. So stay tuned. I may have another another card soon to add to this little collection here. So yeah, this is a really fun card. I enjoyed it. I think I met the parameters. I have my, my thank you card here, my roadside market of blue, yellow, white, and black, my yard is my little snowman in the yard and the random is my sky confetti so what do you think did i did i do okay this week i hope i did i hope it looks like fun to you i i really like using the craft roulette stamp set and the die set and i just really get excited when i can figure out new ways to use it and new ways to just have fun with it because you always want to stretch your supplies and when it's a supply as fun as this you just you got to get the most out of it right so i'm very happy to have been able to use that so that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this little episode. I, let me know in the comments below if you like this kind of walkthrough description type uh, video. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. And a reminder again, I will be on Stamp Wars uh, this Saturday at, at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, 7 p.m. Eastern on the Nancy Stamps YouTube channel. I will link it probably somewhere in this area and then probably somewhere below down here in the comments, or not in the comments, but uh, in the description below. Thank you so much again for joining me today. I really appreciate that you were here. I would love to hear from you. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, anything like that, please let me know. Thank you so much again. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I hope you grab some paper and craft something that really makes you smile. Thanks again. Take care. Bye.